वेलकम टू दिस इज थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ आइसोपैरामेट्रिक फॉर्मूलेशन इन फर्स्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट इन आइसोपैरामेट्रिक फॉर्मूलेशन ओरिजिनल एलिमेंट्स व्हिच आर कॉल्ड एज मैप एलिमेंट्स आर गिवन इन ग्लोबल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट इज एक्स वाई कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम बट व्हाइल एनालाइजिंग दी स्ट्रक्चर्स वी हैव टू कंसीडर दी पैरेंट एलिमेंट इक्विवेलेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ मैप एलिमेंट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज पैरेंट एलिमेंट एंड पैरेंट एलिमेंट्स आर इन नेचुरल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम it means during the isoparametric formulation many times we have to transfer cartesian coordinates into natural coordinates or sometimes natural coordinates into cartesian coordinates so this is called as coordinate transformation so in this lecture third lecture we will see how to transfer cartesian coordinates into natural coordinates or natural coordinates into cartesian coordinates this will discuss with the help of one simple example of quadrilateral the question is if you look at question is determine cartesian coordinates that is x y coordinates of any point p if its natural coordinates are z equal to 0.5 and eta is equal to 0.6 the original element is the one quadrilateral in x y coordinate system no numbers are 1 2 3 Four. Please concentrate on the no numbers given. One, two, three, four. In anti-clockwise sense, bottom left corner is no number one. So original element is quadrilateral. But while solving the problem, we have to consider the parent element, equivalent element. So parent element of quadrilateral is four-noded rectangular element in natural coordinate system. So draw a rectangular, four-noded rectangular. element no numbers are following the same sequence 1 2 3 4 so this one this is 1 2 3 4 4 notes don't disturb the sequence observe the how no numbers are given important so 1 2 3 4 coordinates of nodes 1 2 3 4 are in natural coordinate system origin is always as you find the center maximum coordinate is plus 1 minus 1 that we have already discussed in unit number 3 So coordinates are minus one, minus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one, plus one. Now for this four-noded rectangular element, write down the shape functions. Shape functions are n one, n two, n three, n four. With if you remember, there is one simple logic to write down the shape functions. Shape functions are following the signs of coordinates. If it is minus minus, it is one minus z one minus eta one four n one equal to n2 is equal to 1 plus z 1 minus eta upon 4 n3 is equal to 1 plus z 1 plus eta upon 4 and n4 is equal to 1 minus z 1 plus eta upon 4 write down shape functions for the parent four noded rectangular element now we know that in isoparametric element cartesian coordinate that is called as geometry is represented in terms of shape function So x is equal to n1 x1 plus n2 x2 plus n3 x3 plus n4 x4. Similarly, y. These are called as geometry. Cartesian coordinates are represented in terms of shape functions. Now, in this equation number one and two, our question is to determine x and y coordinates. Cartesian coordinates of any point P. So we have to determine x and y. X1 to X4 and Y1 to Y4 are given to us. X1, X2, X3, X4, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. So X1 to X4 and Y1 to Y4 are given to us. Now our aim is to find out N1 to N4 at z equal to 0.5 and eta equal to 0.6. So once you write down the shape functions, in these four shape functions, put z is equal to 0.5. And eta is equal to 0.6. If you put that n1 is equal to, you will get 0.05. 1 minus 0.5, 1 minus 0.6 divided by 4. Answer is 0.05. Similarly, shape function n2, n3, n4 at z 0.5 and eta 0.6, we have to find out all four shape functions. Once you get these four shape functions, now from equation number one. X is equal to n1 is equal to n1 is equal to 0.05. X1 is equal to 2. So 
so it is 0 0.05 into 2 plus n2 0 0.50 x2 8 so 0 0.15 into 8 plus 0 0.6 that is n3 x3 equal to 7 n4 is equal to 0.2 x4 is equal to 3 so n1 x1 plus n2 x2 from this equation 1 will get x is equal to if you solve this equation answer is 6.1 similarly if you want to calculate y coordinate of any point p y equal to n1 y1 plus n2 y2 plus n3 y3 plus n4 y4 values of n1 to n4 are here n1 n2 n3 n4 values of y1 y2 y3 y4 1 3 7 5 1 3 7 5 if you put this n1 to n4 and y1 to y4 y is equal to 5.7 it means now in the given quadrilateral at any point p if natural coordinates are 0.5 and 0.6 cartesian coordinates of any point p are 6.1 and 5.7 this is coordinate transformation from now natural coordinate to cartesian coordinate in the next lecture we will see how to transfer cartesian coordinate into natural coordinate okay thank you